All right, coming up next, the main event, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. the tape for this lightweight scrap. The Russian is 29. The Brazilian is 30. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, presenting the challenger, Islam Makasha. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 33 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles the Box Oliveira! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. See, round one is upon us, and if you are somebody that enjoys the ground fighting game, this matchup could be custom made for you. This fight is made for you. But does the grappler try to keep this fight standing? Does he just throw the jiu-jitsu fighter down and then back out? Even though he's a phenomenal grappler, he will be at a disadvantage if this fight takes too much time on the ground in the jiu-jitsu realm. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big ball from punch land. I'm gonna get back to range. Couple of chins here being tested early.
Can they both stand up? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That knee might have landed there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Oliveira. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Well, case the high is taking for a ride. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice right hand, John. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight. Transitioning to the arm submission now. Nicely done. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pin. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oliveira gets back up again. Nicely done. 30 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliveira. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. He didn't like that left hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crash. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Ground two is next. What? All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job. Of now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Oh, he takes it to a high. What a fantastic takedown. And quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Back to the feet now. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big roundhouse now just misses. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in the... Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Oh, nicely done there as he wow. escapes back to his feet. He got the takedown. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Oliveira. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Whoa! 
Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down, though. Back to the feet. That was a jab. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh, he might be out. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very oh! bad. Shot a double leg. Oh, he was slamming down to the ground. Well done. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Back to the feet. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! some of these. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him the man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. Nice hand with fist. Back to the feet. And they separate. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Well, that's a good right hand. Oh! Well, he's up. But oh, is he hurt. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Clustering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Out of range with that one. Single collar tie now. And now he's got that hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round.
All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. We have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Great timing when that move can take down. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Wow. Again, they will clinch. And they separate. just misses with the straight left hand. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Gets up again here, but hurting. Tried to, yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his oh. finish his fight. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hooked. Shoot over throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land. Ron and Paul here are if you're gonna go to submission. Back to the feet. And they separate. Just over two minutes to go. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called stop to this contest at three minutes, three seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles the Bronx Olivier. All right, so there he is, and still UFC lightweight champion at 155 pounds. That's saying something, right? A murderer's row of contenders, and the number one contender, no match for the champion. For a long time, we talked about 155 as the toughest division in the entire UFC. Tonight, he shows why he is the champion, he's been the champion, and he will stay the UFC lightweight champion.